This is BBC News, a tale of two presidents. One giving a Thanksgiving address at a podium being, well, presidential. The other being on speakerphone, touting election conspiracy theories to Republicans in Pennsylvania. Joe Biden tells Americans in his Thanksgiving message, we're at war with the virus, not one another, assuring people we're in this together. For those who've lost a loved one, I know that this time of year can be especially difficult. Believe me, I know. We have hundreds and hundreds of affidavits of stories that are even worse than the stories I'm hearing. Why wouldn't they overturn an election? Going at them again. Brilliant run by Maradona. The Argentine football legend Diego Maradona, one of the greatest players of all time, dies at the age of 60. Also in the programme. The biggest economic decline in 300 years. The UK Chancellor warns the worst effects of the COVID-19 pandemic are still ahead of us. Plus, the iconic Macy's Day Parade, remastered for the age of coronavirus. All you need is a comfy seat in front of the telly. Trevelyan in New York City, Christian Fraser is in London. The last Thursday in November is the day Americans come together to give thanks. And this year the gratitude goes mostly to the doctors, the nurses, the ancillary staff who tomorrow will be on duty in hospitals that are creaking under the pressure of the coronavirus pandemic. The United States is now averaging 165,000 new cases a day and yesterday over 2,000 people died. But despite all the warnings from health officials, millions have traveled this holiday period to reunite with families. It's been dubbed the mother of super spreader events. Not everybody is ignoring the advice. Just a short time ago, the president-elect spoke to the nation about the shared sacrifices Americans are making this Thanksgiving. He paid tribute to those who will be staying home. The Bidens themselves, he said, will forego their own big family Thanksgiving, sharing it this year, he said, with just his daughter and son-in-law. We find ourselves, said Mr. Biden, facing a long, hard winter. I know the country has grown weary of the fight. But we need to remember we're at war with the virus, not with one another, not with each other. This is the moment where we need to steal our spines, redouble our efforts, and recommit ourselves to the fight. Let's remember, we're all in this together. While Joe Biden was making that speech, Donald